What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation, the best baseball community on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start out with Julio Arias, who had 7 Ks in 6 innings, giving up only one run. He had this wicked changeup and curveball that had nearly 3,000 RPMs. You can see that curveball is a real sweeper, breaking about 15 inches. Urias outdueled Edward Cabrera, who had these nasty curveballs, as well as his low to mid 90s power changeup. And here's a look at that changeup release. Nick Lodolo had 5Ks in 7 innings and had these mean sliders. He was outdueled by Patrick Corbin, who had this dirty slider and 5Ks in 6 innings. Aaron Savali had these beautiful curveballs that had about 62 inches of drop. His curveball is also around 3,000 RPMs, but you can see the difference between his curveball and Julio Rios' curveball. Instead of a sweeper, Savali's is more of a 12-6. He was outdueled by Robbie Ray, who had seven strikeouts in seven scoreless innings, and his usual mix of elevated fastballs and wicked sliders. Corey Kluber had four Ks in this sweeping breaking ball. Clark Schmidt had 7 Ks in 4 and a third innings, and I thought this overlay does a good job of explaining why he might get a sword on his breaking ball. As a hitter, you're ready to swing at a fastball, and by the time you recognize it's a breaking ball, it's too late. Schmidt was outdueled by Adrian Martinez, who had 6 Ks and these filthy changeups. Noah Syndergaard had this sinker and slider combo, and was outdueled by Rowancy Contreras, who had his nasty slider working. He got 7 Ks in 5 scoreless innings. Adam Wainwright had 4 Ks in 6 and 2 thirds innings, thanks to his fastball and curveball. But what was most impressive was Wainwright talking about the difference between routine and superstition. A routine is great as long as it doesn't become superstition. If you're out there thinking you've got to do exactly the same thing every time, then that's, that's making you a weaker competitor. If they told me right now that I had 8 pitches to get loose, I can do that. Because you are what your brain tells you you are. I love that. Just fantastic mental game stuff. Jake Odorizzi had four Ks in five and two-thirds innings and took a no-hitter into the sixth. And here's a fastball and splitter overlay so you can see how those two pitches work together. Justin Verlander had six Ks thanks to his overpowering fastball, nasty slider, and wicked curveballs. I mean, those curveballs are filthy. Unfortunately, Verlander left the game early due to calf discomfort. Austin Voth had this filthy curveball on his way to 4Ks. Dylan Cease had 8Ks in 8 innings, thanks to his fastball that touched 99 and his usual combo of wicked sliders and knuckle curves. Herman Marquez had these dirty knuckle curves, but my filthiest starter of the day was Max Scherzer. Scherzer had 11 strikeouts, thanks mostly to his fierce sliders, but he also had this gorgeous curveball. Look at the break on that thing, and that is his fifth best pitch. I am absolutely convinced that I like Max Scherzer's curveball more than he likes it. And here are some overlays of Scherzer's fastball and slider and fastball and changeup, and you can really see why he's so dominant. Scherzer is a master at tunneling his pitches and this creates nightmares for hitters. One thing that creates nightmares for everyone is this face that Scherzer made while trying to catch a comebacker. I'm still having flashbacks. Although that face works really well when transposed into the famous artwork, The Scream. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Ryan Helsley had this 101 mile an hour fastball and 92 mile an hour slider. Michael Fulmer had this filthy 91 mile an hour slider. Devin Williams had this amazing back foot airbender. Bruce Star Gratterall had this 99 mile an hour sinker with this incredible movement. That is 19 inches of run. But my filthiest reliever yesterday was Greg Weissert. Look at this mix of sinkers and sliders. And when you overlay his sinker and slider, that is some absolute filth. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. You gotta love Wayno the dad. I took my son to get a haircut yesterday. He said, Daddy, will you please get a lightning bolt in your head like me? I said, yeah, buddy. Let's do it. Nice. Nobody will ever see it. <laughs> 
is up, Ninja Nation. My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to go with Brian Bayo for 5Ks or more. He looks like he's starting to figure things out. I'm going to take Tony Gonsolin for 5Ks or more. And then I'm going to take Carlos Rodon for over 6.5Ks. What would your picks of the day be? 